hadn't planned to make a video today, but then Mary Brown went ahead and posted this on Instagram. Let's look at what she wrote and then we'll discuss it. Now, she writes a lot, <laughs> so maybe if you've read this already or you just don't want to hear me read, I'm going to put the time up here. That's where you can skip ahead to because for now, I'm going to read it. It's a lot, and then we'll meet together at that time and talk about what she wrote. In her post, Mary writes, In light of a recent unapproved press release, we feel compelled to share our own truth in our own way and in our own timing. After more than a decade of working on our relationship in our own unique ways, we have made the decision to permanently terminate our marriage relationship. During this process, we are committed to kindness and respect toward each other and to all members of our family, and we are also committed to the continued healing of any and all relationships within the family so that we can move forward with forgiveness, grace, and love. In kindness, Mary and Cody. Now, in the caption to that, Mary writes, Today I reclaim my power. Last month's article by the quote-unquote reputable People magazine quoting me as saying that I had confirmed that Cody and I had separated was a complete lie. The information, content, and timing was inaccurate and was based on a highly edited version of events that had been filmed months prior. In the months since the taping of those interviews, Cody and I have had many open and honest discussions that have led to our announcement today. There is so much more to be told about this story, and I assure you, my truth will be told. But for now, know that there is peace in my heart, and I hold no animosity toward Cody. I am not, and pray that I never will be, in a place where I will enjoy making or seeing you make rude and demeaning comments about him. You likely will have a range of emotions and opinions at this news and want to offer comments. In doing so, please be considerate of the fact that we are real people with real lives and real emotions. Please try to refrain from congratulating me at the breakup of my marriage. I value this relationship I had and look forward to stepping into 2023 and my future with grace, kindness, and power. Step into kindness with me. Put positive energy out into the world. Worthy up. Okay, so if you subscribe to my channel and read my community posts, then you probably already know that when I first saw Mary's post, I felt a little sad for her. I know there have been many conversations over the years about whether or not Mary deserves our sympathy. I mean, she hasn't always been kind to her sister wives, and even some of the kids say she was downright cruel to them. But you can't deny the fact that we have watched a 30-plus year marriage dissolve right in front of our eyes. And as you might know, not that long ago, I posted a video that encapsulated a lot of the information we have about Mary and Cody's relationship before their sister wives TV show started. By the way, I am still working on part two, but this announcement definitely changes some things. But anyway, Mary and Cody had their ups and downs for sure, but a part of them was committed to one another and fulfilling this religious dream to have a celestial kingdom waiting for them in heaven. And honestly, I think that's the part of Mary that I feel sympathy for. That 19-year-old girl, really young, <laughs> she thought she was marrying the love of her life. And over the years, because of her religion, she let other women into that marriage and chose to share her husband with them. I think it's safe to say that their marriage was founded on the promise of heartbreak. And if you know your marriage is going to include you being heartbroken, then what kind of behavior can we really expect, especially from a 19-year-old girl? And although I think by the time Janelle entered their marriage, Mary might have been 21, still super young. And so even when Mary lashed out at the other sister wives, I, I mean, I get that she was not great to them. Even when she lashed out at them, even when she got involved with Sam and that internet romance that ended up being a catfishing situation, even through that, I have to be honest and real with you that it kind of makes sense to me. Mary had it hard. Her religion set her up to have it and hard. And her husband just was not there for her. And so I do think this official separation is the best. I think that's the best for Mary and for Cody. I'm not arguing that at all that I think this, you know, I wish they would work it out. I don't think that. I think Mary has a better chance at finding happiness when she's away from Cody. But I just still do feel some sadness for her that this dream, like she said, this dream that she had, 
and that she committed so many years of her life to, it just didn't work out. Now, if you don't follow Mary on Instagram already, then I encourage you to, because nowadays that's the only place that we see her being happy and full of life. Throughout the past um, few seasons of Sister Wives, I, I mean, when I think of her on the show, I just picture her sitting on the chair, kind of uncomfortable looking, like she's trying to disappear. She does not look happy. She looks whatever the opposite of happy is. She looks sad and miserable. So check her out on Instagram and see Mary when I think she's at her best. She's often surrounded by friends. She never posts about the family, but she is surrounded by friends and people who seem to like her, people who love her maybe. And that is encouraging to me. Mary is able to connect with people and she is able to build relationships. And if you're an adult, then you know Adulthood is a hard time to make new friends. It's a hard time to build a, con- a community of other adults who care for you and love you. And so for Mary to have done that, I think it's a big deal. Now, of course, I won't ignore the fact that she has her multi-level marketing business that brings her in contact with a lot of people. But even still, Mary has been able to uh, sustain these relationships. And so I have faith that she will find happiness in the future And that's what I hope for her. I hope Mary is being honest when she says there is peace in her heart and she holds no animosity towards Cody. (laughs) I hope that this means in season 18, she'll maybe start to feel a little more open with herself and with her life and her joy and her happiness. That's what I hope. But I guess only time will tell. Okay, so season 17 is officially over, but I'm going to continue talking about Sister Wives because they're still doing stuff. (laughs) And it's interesting to see how what they're doing now connects to what they've shared with us in the past. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so we can stay in conversation about this wild ride of a show called Sister Wives. All right, take care. Bye.